Shit, I, I got it. Then we gotta start all over. All right. Good afternoon, good evening. Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. We're in Elizabeth, New Jersey at 2 Broad Street, where in uh, 1741, I believe it is, is that right? Is that correct, Slam? Mm -hmm. Three black men was burnt right here at the stake. At the stake. S Salam Ishmael will tell the story and tell what they are planning to do and what their ambitions is with that history. Go ahead. Well, first of all, 1741 was part of a so-called Slave revolt. Um, yes, this Elizabeth, New Jersey, is a historical town established in 1665, and of course it was an enslaved town. Of course, uh, but in 1741 there was this conspiracy that's derived from New York, where it said that that the slaves were going to uprise and going to turn over plantations and kill their white women and rape them and all kinds of stuff. Well, that hysteria went all across the land, from New York all the way to Delaware. So they rounded up many slaves, and they began to put them on trial. And not only put them on trial, but they also uh, executed many of them. Some got hanged, some of which was burnt at the stake, which is like a pole. And they tied you to this pole, and they burn you alive. And that's what they did as a form of, of, of punishment. So we had brought this information that was founded three years ago to the county commissioners, which I stand before the county courthouse, where, in fact, this is the site where, where it's reported that this, these hangings and the burnt by the stake happened. And so we brought that to the attention of the county commissioners, and we urged them to um, put a monument or a plaque in recognition of that. And they were very resistant. So after three years um, of demanding and some protest, they now came to an agreement to do just that, to put a monument at this site, this site of the courthouse, because in 1741, it was the court that determined that these guys guilt. It was the court that determined that they should be executed by way of being burned by the state. So three slaves were burnt at this site. So, bear with me, this is the downtown district of Elizabeth. So, so we, we think that it's, it's, it's dedication to our, our ancestors here. Right across from here is also a burial ground where many, many of slaves and free uh, blacks is also buried, so there's going to be ceremony during the historical Juneteenth event. Um, Saturday, June 17th, at approximately 11 a.m., we will be here at this site. We'll have a flag raising in recognition of of all of, of those those past ancestors, and also we'll have a balloon release for those slaves, those three slaves that were. Um, burnt at the stake in 1741. And we are uh, continuing to move forward on an eventual monument here at this site at Two Broad Street. So Salam Ishmael, did they agree, did the council agree to actually um, um, a fund, uh, a monument here, and when will it be? Well, right, right now we are in, we are, it's two things. When we're in negotiation, with the uh, county on what that monument gonna look like um, and where exactly we're gonna place that monument at, at, in somewhere in this vicinity. And so we're still waiting for, for that process to happen. Um, there is an agreement, yes, to answer your question, there is an agreement to build a monument here. It's just that we have to we're still working on the details. Hopefully that continue to move forward and, and properly because they're not accepting no for an answer. Uh, Elizabeth have a large history of slavery. In fact, Elizabeth, formerly Elizabeth Town, is the first state capital of New Jersey, not Trenton, but Elizabeth. 19, 17, six, uh, 1664, 1665, they established Elizabeth Town and the first state capital. And so, a lot of history here, and so part of that is 
is the recognition of history. What that does is teach not only us, but our generation that's coming after us. Yes. And to never ever forget slavery, like other groups don't forget their history sure. and their tragedy, we should not ever forget the atrocities of slavery. Okay. Well, well thank you. And uh, you say on June? Well, on, yes, Saturday, June 17th. 17th. At 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., we'll be here at 2 Broad Street. We're going to have the flag raised. We're also going to release balloons um, and a vigil for those three African slaves that were persecuted, burned alive, here at this site. So we'll be there. We're asking people to come. Later that evening, we're having a day party, which is going to be also Saturday at between the hours of 4 and 8 p.m. at Doche Restaurant and Lounge, and that's at 17 Broad Street. And also, that's part of the fundraiser, and that's also part of the Juneteenth celebration we'll do for that Saturday. So we got the Saturday morning flag raise here at this site, and then the afternoon day party from 4 to 8 at Doshe Lounge. And any information you need, you can call 917-673-0563, or you can email at nuyc1 at hotmail.com. That's nuyc1 at hotmail.com. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Salam. And we'll be back in touch with you again and again and again. This is Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. Good day.